Peter, Adam Chandler here. I'm worried about Dixie again. Uh, she's uh, very upset. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but you'll just have to be patient. No, no, don't tell me that. There's got to be something you can do for her. Well, some counseling might help. Well, yes, but in the meantime, she's more on edge than she was before, when you, when you saw her. Uh, she, you, did she tell you she's not sleeping? No. Oh, yes, she's not. You know, I would certainly think sleep would do, do a great deal for this postpartum depression. Uh, that's true. Uh, sleep deprivation can contribute to depression. But Good, I, then maybe you can prescribe some sleeping pills for her. Oh, I don't like to prescribe medication over the phone. Well, you just saw her for crying out loud. You saw how worried and exhausted she was. Sleeping pills can be habit-forming, Adam, uh, unless it's absolutely necessary. I give you my word, she won't abuse them. If she goes through another sleepless night, I'm not sure either one of us could stand it. All right, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll phone in a prescription for something mild. But, but only enough for a day or two. Peter, I appreciate it. You know, because your wife seems emotionally unstable... I, I give you my word, she won't abuse them. No, no, I will keep my eye on her at every moment. I just don't want her to go through another one of those nights of tossing and turning all night. Your pharmacy is... Oh, Pinecrest on, uh, on Wedgwood, Wedgwood Road. Okay, I'll call that order in right away. Peter, I appreciate it. Did you follow her? Yes, I did. Where'd they go? One guess. Fine. If you don't want to talk to me or your girlfriend, you don't have to. If you want to ruin your life with Hooch, you do it somewhere else, because Nico's got enough trouble without you doing it here. David, you seen Cecily? She's not working today. She's not, is she at home? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Dixie, what's wrong? Nothing. Come on, honey, don't do that. What is it, the baby? No, baby's fine. Fine. But it's Adam. Come on, what do he do to you? Wait a minute. Why doesn't anybody work here? Well, we try not to. So how's Pine Valley's favorite chanteuse? Oh, I admit it. I'm walking on air. Hi, David. Nice. What are you guys doing here? Well, Cecily made a recording of my opening performance without me knowing about it, and I think I'm brave enough to hear it now. Oh, you were great, Donna. You were wonderful, really. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Excuse us. We, we were just in the middle of something. I step, just step aside yes. for a second. Now, come on. Sure. Come on. Uh, David, is Nico in his office? No, I'm in the kitchen. Kitchen? I'll see you in a minute, then. David, are you okay? Yeah. Hey, you're not planning on driving like that, are you? I'm okay. Don't be stupid, I said David. I'm okay. Look, even if you don't care about yourself, then think about the other guy. Come on, David, please don't try fighting me on this. All right. I just don't want you to hurt anybody. Come on. So where do you want to go? Well, let's just get the hell out of here. Dixie, why the hell won't you tell me what's wrong? Because there's nothing I can talk about, not with you. Well, that's a very nice thing to say, considering I'm your friend. Just a little difficult to, um, admit you were right. About what? About Adam. He's not in love with me. He's still in love with Brooke. I'm glad you started to come to your senses. Look, just don't say anything. Just hold me, okay? It gets better, I promise. It gets a lot better. Will you please take your hands off my wife, please? Em, just stay away from me, okay? Dixie, darling, this is all a misunderstanding. And I can, can count on you to take advantage of her vulnerability. Just a second, I wasn't taking advantage of anyone. Adam, I came here on my own accord. Just leave Tad alone. Dixie, you're making a mistake. I'm not making a mistake. I am finally wiping up. I heard you, Adam, okay? I heard you tell 
book with my own ears that you wanted her back. There you go. I never said any such thing. Dad, one of your clients wants to talk with you. Thank you. You gonna be okay? Of course she's gonna be okay. What do you think I'm gonna do to her? I was talking to her. Didn't imagine this, Adam. I was standing right outside the office. See, uh, I hate to even bring this up. But you know, you remember what Dr. Fowler said. That postpartum depression manifests itself in many different ways. Now look at me. Come on, look at me. I love you. It kills me to see you this unhappy. I know what I heard. And you're not going to give me a chance to explain it? Don't you think I deserve that much? All right. Good, thank you, thank you. Come on, let's go home. No, I, can we please just get this out of here? Darling, first of all, this is, this is very private. And secondly, I'd like to see our son before he goes down for his nap. Dixie, Dixie, uh, just a second. Where are you going? Wait, we just need to go home to talk. You know? Fine, you, you call me if you need anything, okay? Yeah, I, I will. I'll call you, thanks. Everything's gonna be just fine. Tad, have you seen David anywhere? Uh, he just left. Didn't look all that good either. Well, he, uh, he's still very depressed about his mother. Yeah, I know, I know. I tried to get him to talk to you, but he, he wouldn't do it. Why? Well, at the moment, he was uh, involved in polishing off most of Nico's vodka. Oh. I tried to talk to him, get him to calm down, but he was, just wasn't buying anything. Did he have his car? I don't know. Look, David is smart enough that he would not drive when he was drinking. Tad, um, do you have any idea where he could have gone? Beats me. What can I... Sign right there. Right. There you go. And I'll make sure that uh, Mrs. Chandler gets this. Uh, that's for you. Thank you. Thank you. Is it cream or lemon? I've forgotten again. Milk, please. Ah, yes, 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 of course. Yes, now, what is it that I said that made you think I wanted to go back to Brooke? Um, you said that, uh, you wanted things to be the way they were. No, um, excuse me, I got that wrong. I think, um, the way they used to be. Oh, darling, oh. Of why didn't you come to me? You you've misunderstood everything. I wonder if paranoia is another symptom of postpartum depression. Well, if that's not what you meant, then what did you mean? Skye came to me this afternoon and said she was leaving town. Skye's leaving? Yes, for good. Oh, Adam, I'm sorry. That's, that's what the conversation was about. Oh. I, I know Skye's relationship and mine has been very pained ever since the child was born, and, uh, but I didn't want her to leave town, not with all those hard feelings between us. Oh, Adam, oh, I'm so sorry. Sorry. Right. I mean, is there anything I can do? No, no, I, I don't think you'd be the person to do it. I tried to talk her into staying, uh, but she won't hear any of it. So I thought maybe Brooke could... Uh, succeed where you uh, failed. Yes, yes, right. because she and Skye are still friends. I thought maybe she could go to Skye and, mm. and talk to her. That, that's what the conversation was about. I was talking to Brooke about, about wanting things to be the same as they used to be between Skye and me before little Adam Jr. was born. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sorry, Adam. I understand. I'm sorry. And, you know, and it's even worse because I think this thing with Sky is partly my fault. No, 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 no. I don't want you to take any of this blame on yourself. No, it's between Sky and me. I just hope that we can uh, repair the damage before she leaves town. I... It's an awful feeling to know that your daughter hates you. It hurts. It hurts like hell. Well, I wish you would have told me. You know, I would have loved to, to comfort you, you know, the way you've comforted oh. me. I... No, I didn't want to bring you into this. 
I, uh, you have problems of your own. Adam, Adam, don't you understand that, that just knowing that I could help you would just make me feel wonderful. Don't you understand that? You're so good. Do you really mean that? There is a way. Of course I do. I mean, you just tell me. What can I do? Anything. Dr. F Fowler's secretary called this afternoon, and she said, and I quote, Mrs. Chandler, tell Mrs. Chandler, Dr. Fowler said she has a green light. What does that mean, a green light? To resume normal marital relations. Then you, you want me? Well, well, only if, if that's what you want. Now, I don't want to rush you into anything. Don't you understand? Don't you know how good it feels to know that you want me? Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. I, I think you and I should be together alone tonight. Why don't we have uh, the cook send a polite supper up to our room? What do you say? I would love that. I think that sounds... <laughs> Ted, how very nice to see you. Thank you. Is Dixie home? For you, I'm not sure, but I'll check. It's uh, Tad Martin to see Dixie. Would you like me to send him packing or let him in? That's entirely up to my wife. Here's the medicine from the pharmacy. Oh, yes, thanks. Anything else you need? I know, can't think of a thing. If I do, I'll buzz you. All right. Ted Martin? As long as you let me. My very own guardian angel, huh? Something like that. Well, thanks for caring, okay? I really appreciate it, but I'm fine, honestly. Sure. I'll see you later. Okay, thanks. Well, that didn't take too long now, did it? That was too long for my taste, but uh, thank you for sending him on his way. Well. When my husband made such a wonderful offer, I couldn't resist. I love you so much. Mm. 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 Let's go upstairs. Mm. Mm. No, 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 just... Just stay here for a moment. Savor... Anticipation. Mm. Finish your tea. Okay. Dad. Dad. Mm, yes, excuse me. Come on. You got a few minutes? Yep. Just finished rounds. I'm all set. Here. Question. Yeah. How much do you know about postpartum depression? Dixie, huh? I should have. No, been. no, come on, come on, Dad. Please, I'm serious. Just, just humor me. This is serious. Just tell me what are the symptoms? Well, Dad, it varies from person to person. But in general, um, when a woman has a baby, she goes through quite profound changes, emotional as well as physical. A lot of excitement building up to the birth. And some women uh, experience a sort of letdown once the baby comes. Okay, what about forgetfulness? Is that normal? Can that happen? Oh, well, yeah, it could happen. But look, the important thing to remember here is it usually is a short-term condition. It corrects itself. Usually? Yeah. In some cases, it's longer, but... Uh, I mean, if it goes on beyond a week or two weeks, then really, the, the woman should see someone. Oh, like, like a shrink? Yeah, sometimes that's necessary. I gather you're worried about Dixon. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not... Well, since the baby... Well, lately, she just... She's not acting too together. In what way? Well, I don't know. It, she's complaining about forgetting things, about being absent-minded, and, 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 and she's on an emotional roller coaster. One minute, she's fine, and then the next minute, she just comes completely unglued. Well, 
It could be postpartum depression. I seem to remember Ruth mentioning that uh, she had one or two episodes like that in the hospital. That's right, that's right. She was crying all the time. Yeah, but of course, Tams, it was a very difficult birth she had. It was the kidnapping. I mean, she'd been under a lot of strain. Yeah, I know, but since I brought the baby home, you would think she'd be sitting on top of the world, and then, I don't know, all of a sudden, lately, she's... I don't know, the process is reversed or something. Well, son, an awful lot of things could be troubling, and you know that. Let me give you a perfect example, okay? Last night, she comes over to the club, and we sit around, we, t we talk for a while, we tell a few jokes, I get her to laugh, and then today she walks in and then just bursts into tears. Well, I can understand your confusion, but mood swings are not unheard of. Not like this. No, Dixie's too strong inside. Emotionally, she's like an ox. There's something wrong, Dad. There's something different about this. Oh, this is so nice. Oh. You are so lovely. 